to spend a couple minutes just real quickly going through the Altea Design 11.1 .1 new features. I've made uh, separate feature highlight videos for each one of these things, but this will give you a very brief overview of what's new for Altea Design 11.1. .1. So the first one I want to show you is actually a demo DSN file that you can open at your C drive and USR. This is where Altea Design installs. And there's actually a drawing area folder, demos, multiplot. You can open up the multiplot and actually just go through and show the multiplot doing its thing in all its different modes of drawing styles. Uh, you can tell it to scale up and down the vertical or, or uh, horizontal axes, show multicolored line, grid tests, and, and also multi-line plots. So make sure to check that out. That's, that's one of the first things. Second thing is, if you notice, um, we've got a debug debugger pane now, and you can log events, everything coming into Altia Design. If you're only interested in certain things, you can uncheck all and only check the, the events that you want to listen to, such as, um, let's see, if I turn on Apply Filters, I can actually only look at stuff that I want to see. So let's look at the event log, mplot next x. All right, so let's uh, go to Filter and plot next x is over here. I will check that, go to event log and look. Now I'm only seeing changes to and plot next x. All right, and validator is actually a new tool that allows you to either get this done in, in real time or auto run just before you generate code. But it will tell you any problems in your design that it found as well as how to fix it, right? This group has been transformed using an animation and this, you know, so it'll tell you what's happened to the group, how to fix it, and why it thinks it might be a problem. In addition, you can, uh, you can get when real-time validation is turned on, notice I checked that box, you can get these pop-ups to know if you've changed your model in any way and show the validator pane. The generic rule specification has a default rule set, but you can choose customized rule sets per deep screen target. So if you know you're using a very limited um, target, you can turn on rules that apply just for that hardware. All right, so validator, debugger, multiplot. And finally, I want to show you a, a brand new feature. If I just do a file new here and do insert, you can come down here to new 3D scene and actually import um, the content of a 3D scene into there. All right, so um, let me close this and it looks like I've got a client connect to Talenty Design. Let me disconnect that to make valid or debugger a little quieter okay and what I want to show you here in the 3d scene is you can select this 3d scene object right click and choose compose and then open up uh, OSG B files that's OSG binary files that can be converted from Collada files so you can be in Maya and make OSG B files for example I have one here that's a uh, a speedometer cluster and so right here in LT design you can preview your scene zoom in and out and even playback animation that you've built in so here's like a 3d gauge cluster and I can zoom in and pan around and show what's in that gauge cluster but you can also tell the 3d scene object to look through a camera and once it's done that over here you can actually tell it to render anything you've done this object render is at one you can turn it to minus one to update with everything you do. So here's here's where we have the animation frame. So you can tell the 3D object to update with every change, like I just showed you by setting object render to minus two. You can switch it to wireframe mode, or you can set it to render only when you tell it to, and that's how I had it set up originally. All right. So I'm going to put it back to render all the time, just to show you a couple things with the 3D scene object. Field of view is kind of where you're at zoom factor, animation frame, playback your animation frame so you have full dynamic control over your animation. All right, And that basically is the 3D object in a nutshell. Make sure to watch in detail um, coming from my 2 lt design in the feature highlight video as well as more details about the debugger, the validator, and the multiplot.